Hey guys, so for today, I'm going to show you how to create a wallet or download a MetaMask. First, we're going to go to Play Store. I'm using an Android. Play Store and search for the MetaMask. I have a MetaMask before, but I just uninstalled it to show it to you guys. So in install. Wait for it. I'm just gonna wait for there you go now it's right here so click the metamask let's get started I already have the wallet address I'm gonna import or create a new wallet since a lot of you guys don't have a wallet yet I'm gonna show you how to create a new wallet so you create a password Okay, now I have um, a password, so I understand create password. Yes, so you have to secure your wallet. Okay, start. Now you have to grab a pen or a notebook or any paper to write your um, recovery trace. You cannot do a screenshot to, to save it. So yeah, you need, you need a pen and a notebook for that. Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Um, it automatically um, stopped my recorder because it says it can't record for privacy policy because it was showing my my security face it's very confidential so what I did after that there's going you're going to have um, 12 words that's your security priest so you have to write it down one it will start to one up to 12 and then after that you click i think confirm i forgot already but yes or next you're gonna drag your security face to numbered one to twelve whatever is the first um number one you brought that's the first word always the first word then second third until until 12. so next step says and in the new confirm it and then it will say congratulations <laughs> congratulations you have a wallet now so yeah take note that you have to keep your um, security place don't ever lose it or else your wallet will lose as well for example you have like um three hundred thousand dollars in your wallet and then um you accidentally sign it out or log out when you were trying to sign it and then asking you for security praise and you lost your security praise then you're done <laughs> no more so yeah please please always keep your security praise in any safe place like in your drawer in your favorite notebook it's up to you but yeah your security praise is very important okay now um we're here at my wallet no, no thanks because i already know that but you can take a tour if you want but for me i'll press no thanks because i already know how to use my metamask and there you go so yeah it's saying that because this wallet is very new so you have no dollars in it no money so yeah it says buy eth you can do buy eth by um bank transfer or um debit card just just do that with um like buy with transact okay so like for your card i think the minimum is 250. i'm from canada so it's showing a canadian dollar so yeah that's the minimum you will pay 250 for um eth then you click buy then it's showing you to buy ETH, something like that. So everything here, that is all your fee, like network fee. That's what they call, I mean, gas fee. Card processing fee, $12. And then Metamask fee, yeah, there's a lot of fee. And then buy ETH. Then email. Then your code. The personal details like yeah, your first name, 
you're gonna put your address continue and yeah confirm and then I understand the risk Then you're going to type your all your information, your card number, um, your card details, and then you're going to confirm and then poof, you already bought. <laughs> but in Philippines, I honestly don't know how to buy ETH from Philippines. I heard um, using coins.ph. Now you have your wallet. Um, the This is the ETH network. It says ETH, I mean Ethereum main network. If you're using a BSC, I'm gonna show you on my next video how to set up BSC main net instead of Ethereum. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go some tour. So here there's a browser, transaction history, your Ether scan. So browser, it's if you're copying a link to like um for example a de desktop link or a Uniswap. So click browser. This is the site where you buy from uniswap for example we're going to buy um akita then uh, look for the uniswap link there you go copy and then paste it to the search bar and there you go just always connect Press connect, import. So there you go. When you're buying, it's always um, it's always like this. So this is from my ETH, for example, ETH to Akita. But if you're selling, um, just click or press this um this arrow on the middle. There you go. So just for example, I'm gonna buy uh, one ETH. There you go. But but if you're selling, just press the, the middle one and then, yeah, sell it. It says better price at V2, so click V2. So there you go. And then go to wallet again. And then when you are trying to import or add some tokens, uh, for example, I'm gonna add the Akita tokens. So I already copy paste, I mean I already copied the Ethereum Akita token address. So add tokens and then custom so paste it and then we'll show Akita 18 and then add tokens. Since I don't have any tokens, so it's showing zero Akita or zero dollars. There you go. Um what else should I show you? Um also if you if you are looking for your transactions, like your previous transaction a day or let's say 30 days ago you click the view on either scan that is where you're going to check all your transactions since i don't have any transactions there's nothing in here and yeah that's the ether scan that i own and then yeah i think that should be it all right thank you for watching i hope you learned something or i hope i help you to get your new wallet for newbies or new to MetaMask. So there you go, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.